welcome back travelers it is slider havoc and we are back playing a little more project ozone 2 in copper mode and today once again we've got some fun planned today is actually going to be really fun because it's something totally new for me not totally new i've kind of touched on it before but it it's relatively new yeah and i got some learning to do but first of all, I want to show you these. These were the little uh, lightning speed blocks that I picked up at the end of last episode. And they just pew, kind of shoot you all over the place. I was kind of trying to find like a productive place to put them. And I couldn't. And so I just kind of left them here and started having fun on them. So yeah, that's the pew, that's the lightning speed blocks. I'll figure out something to do with them eventually. I will. I will. But right now, I got nothing. So today... We are taking a little look at, I think it's Epsilon, right? So I did some research on my own. I, I did some studying and edumacation and stuff. And I was trying to figure out how in the world do we get to Galacticraft? And I believe it's Iota. I believe that's what it said. It, it, it's one of these two, but I'm pretty sure it's Iota. But we got to get somewhere down here into the, um, the mechanism stuff. I'm not exactly sure where, but something in here unlocks it like i'm looking at requires and i don't know um auto claim cool down task logic global quest one of these yeah one of these is the one that opens up um galacticraft i don't know whichever one it is but there's some stuff we got to do to get there and so you can see i've been kind of looking for some of the items and this led to me a lot of confusion and kind of upsetness, right? So bringing that back up, what I was looking at was, um, first thing I want to do is make, you know, the, well, let's revert a bit. I need to make these steel casings, right? That's the, the path we want to make. And to make the steel casings, um, where you at? Where you at? Where are you at? Where's the real block? There it is. I need a pressure chamber right and this stuff should be simple easy peasy stuff or whatever right but i gotta make the pressure chamber so that takes me down this half of the <clears throat> the, the area and that's where we're gonna get into the pressure chamber so i need to make a pressure chamber pressure chamber window pressure changer tube and air compressor right seems pretty easy until you see this <sighs> let me just that that deep breath of frustration comes from this sneak for info this we've seen used to generate air compressed air to do this insert any item that can burn into a furnace in the fuel slot easy peasy right compressor the recipe calls for diamond furnace so simple not even thinking twice about it and then compressed iron and pressure tube this is where things got a little bit frustrating for me because i was like well okay compressed iron how do you make it? Well, from a block, obviously. You know, we know those recipes. And then iron in a pressure chamber. Yeah, that's it. You can either make compressed iron and put it in a, you know, pressure chamber. So to make the pressure chamber, I need a pressure chamber. And I sat here for like 20 minutes playing with stuff. And then I started doing some reading. And then I found what I needed to do. And so that's what we're going to do right now. We have to blow up some iron. That's how we get the pressurized uh, or the, the compressed iron. So we need to make like TNT. I don't, is there any other explosives that aren't just TNT? I don't know. Like, no, that's TNT generator. That's a minecart with TNT. Maybe the tiny TNT. Let's make up some tiny TNT. I'm, I'm kind of curious here if these would work. I mean... They're simple. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but this needs signalum and red alloy. So tiny TNT seems fun to me. If, yeah. Um, and then we're going to grab some cobble. Like so. Now, remember, what I'm doing here, I, I honestly 100% believe is not going to work. But it's always worth a try. Right? And then we want our flint and steel 2000. Okay. So we're going to come over here and... Oh, this is going to be my new Matacraft area for the time being until we really get situated. But, um, yeah, this, I don't remember how much damage the tiny TNT does, but I know it does a little bit of damage. It might be like one block or something like that. I don't remember exactly. 
Um, so then we'll put this here and let's just test it real quick. Does it, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, doesn't the flint and steel work on the tiny TNT too? Or does it have to be a redstone signal? Maybe it has to be a redstone signal. That's fine. I can make a lever real quick. Um, lever. I just don't know how much damage this thing's going to do. And so that's kind of what I want to test. <clears throat> oh, because I have all the cobble on me. Do, tell me I have no sticks. I have no sticks. Thanks for telling me that. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Cool. Give me give me sticks. Uh, th it's so weird that it does the recipe sideways like that. And, and, and it doesn't work sideways because that makes a pressure plate. So um, let's go ahead and make that lever. Like a so. There we go. And let us see how much damage this TNT does. Oh. It literally, like, I bumped right at the last second. That's just really annoying when that happens. All right. Poof. Okay. But, I mean, it it blows up blocks, but it doesn't seem to really do a lot of damage, per se. Um, yeah, that this might just actually work. Now, I don't know if it's going to work for our purposes of trying to make the compressed iron. That could be some wishful thinking, but in the way of, now, how did that happen? I'm on my ax, but it, weird stuff. I don't know. <clears throat> so we're going to try this out. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but it says you can just basically dump a whole bunch of iron in there. And like I said, part of the issue, part of, part of what I'm going to be testing out here is, um, First of all, I want to know if I can do blocks. Second of all, I want to know if I can actually... I have thrown my item dislocator back into here so many times, I don't know why I keep doing it. <clears throat> it's, it's becoming kind of frustrating, actually. All right, so hover right above, just like that, and throw you all in there. But we're going to throw the iron block, too. That's the one that's really that I'm curious about. So let's try this. Did it work? Uh, no, no, it, it did not work at all. It just blew all that iron up. Okay, so that doesn't work. Not a problem. Step number two. We're going to make the TNT. And just do a whole bunch. So... Let us put that back in there. It was a good try. It was an honest attempt. You know what? I'm going to go put you with my tools. I think you're going to be useful. I think you're going to be pretty useful. Um, so TNT. Let's make you up. I can do that. Thank you. And I should only need one. So I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I don't know for sure if the blocks count. But I kind of just want to get them out of here. If that makes any sense, it sounds weird, but it's I've got so much iron in the ingot form. I don't really need the iron outside the ingot form. It's, it's just, it's in a huge, yeah. So it's time to get rid of all those blocks. We had so many of them. Um, should I go to the end or, you know what? Should we try our new 1997? Should this be where we try it out at? Maybe up in the top of one of those towers just for fun. Since we got that tower right here. I just, I mean, I'm not really worried about the terrain per se. So, yeah, let's let's do this. So, right here, right? And then once again, we're gonna go ahead and throw all of you down there, like so. And I hope this works. Because if this doesn't work, I'm at a loss. I Like I said, I, I spent my time reading up. Oh, oh, it looks... Oh, I think we got a moneymaker. Oh, we got blocks of compressed iron and... It worked. It worked. I'm so excited. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And I never did take you down. I don't know why I didn't take you down, but I did now. All right. So we've got the compressed iron. We can actually build stuff. I am to... I spent so much time being frustrated and sad and crying to myself a little bit when I could not figure out 
it was kind of like when we first tried to do the QED. And it was like, I needed dark steel <clears throat> and, um, you know, to make the lasers, but I couldn't make the lasers because we couldn't make dark steel because we needed the alloys. That loop that, and then I realized that, that, you know, there was something else I could click on, but there was nothing else to click on this time. I searched, I did my due diligence and I was so sad, but it's okay. I'm happy now. We've got the compressed iron, so we can make all this stuff now. So let's do this air compressor. Here we go. Uh, we need to make the furnace. So we need to make you, need me, you, make you. I bet you I don't have any extra furnaces because of all the... Do I have compressed? I Do I not? Okay, hold on. Let's check. Furnace. F-U-R-N. Yeah, see, because I made all of those. I don't have any furnaces. That is a furnace with no face on it. That's interesting. Um, so let's make some compressed up. Three, that's the best we can do, is three. Well, that's it, four? Okay, I have to head over to the farm because that is where all of our useful stuff is at. Um, yes, the, the compressor over here. I wonder how close, we have seven sextuple, so it's a waz away because we haven't got to a septuple yet, so. Um, that's quadruple. That's triple. Where's the double? That's, that's compressed. Okay. Just let me start you know, so I can get into the system here. Okay. Uh, double compressed. No, I just want compressed. I need eight compressed. Perfect. You guys all go back in and do your thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I just need eight compressed so I can make the, the furnace. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Cool. And gold, iron, yeah, we got all that covered, so we're good to go there. All right, so let's do this. Make you, thank you, and you are used. What is this? Oh, that's a vibration chamber. I probably could have chose a better way to do this, but <clears throat> um, iron furnace. Where's the iron furnace? There was a faster way, but I once I started clicking, I was like, you know what? I'm dedicated here. I'm dedicated. There it is. Okay. So iron furnace, there we go. Um, and you're used to make that, there we go. Oh, that's actually kind of an interesting way to do it. And you're used to make that, ha ha ha, that's cool. Okay, and uh, air compressor, there's two separate words, compressor. All right, and we need these pipes, that's easy. Okay, there's one stack of that. All right, air compressor. Bingo, what am I missing? I got you, I got you, I got you. Wait, come on, come on. There we go, got the air compressor. We are headed in the right direction. Now I've got the pipes, so we're good there. Uh, pressure chamber window and pressure chamber interface. Okay. Pressure chamber, P-R-E-R-E-S-S-U-R. You are, you are, geez, I cannot spell right now. Okay, pressure chamber. Pressure chamber interface. Oh, that's a disperser. Interesting. Um, there it is. Okay, so we need this guy. Easy. 16 of those. And I'm going to need, I believe it's a 27 block structure, so I'm going to need like two stacks of this. Okay, cool. And pressure chamber interface. Hopper. We can do a hopper. I made a ton of chests. Because that was always like, you know, you hear me say the limiting factor. Yeah, that was always a limiting factor. Always. So, interface. Good. Make you. Got you. And what else was it? Uh, it was like the glass. Pressure chamber window. Should be able to do you. What is missing on these corners here? Oh, that's interesting. That's something I don't know. Uh, what is this? Electrical steel. I don't have any electrical steel that's very interesting um okay that's the silicon and steel okay or i can do iron coal and silicon but my other one's so much faster so do we have any silicon i do i've got 23 and i'm pretty sure i got some steel I do. I got some steel. All right, cool. So now that we've got this guy and he's all upgraded. Mm 
Wait, 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 wait. Does it have to be the other silicon? How do I... How do I make you? No, stop that. Silicon. Does it have to be the other one? Silicon. There we go. Does it have to be this one? From Galacticraft? The Crusher gives raw silicon. <clears throat> Let me throw some sand in here. Um, do I have any readily available? This is... Well, you know what? Here, let's just do this. Uh, coal. At least I'll start this up on the other one and get it going. But I really want to check this out because this seems like something we should be able to do. Um, to bink, bink, and bink. Is there anything in there? No. Nope. You're good to go. Fused quartz was the last thing I made. Okay, cool. Let us go grab some sand. There's like... Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Uh, when I started... Picking up the grass the other day. I totally forgot to finish this. Um, ah! Up! See, this is what I was talking about. I have fallen into the void and almost died so many times. Mostly just because of my new keyboard. Um, it, it doesn't work quite right. What is it? Oh, that's the LPG from the other... <laughs> from the other day. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um... I had a bucket of LBG and I needed lava, so I just swapped them out. Oh, goodness. Was it lava? No, it was water. I think it was. Anyways, if I put you... It says the crusher, so what does the pulverizer give me? The pulverizer gives me dust, and that's not what I want. So there's actually no way to use that one yet. I don't have the Galacticraft stuff, so... Oh, well, moving on. Now we've got electrical steel, so we're good there. And... Bink, bink. There we go. And we've got eight of those. Cool. So now we need to make the glass. Um, P-R-E-S-S-U-R. -S and don't hit anything else. Okay. So making you. Oh, no. We already made you. Making you. What am I missing now? What does it want? Fused quartz. I literally just put fused quartz in here. I just in vibrant alloy I'm pretty sure I have um tell me that's not what I'm missing that's what I'm missing but I just so happen to have only two nuggets worth um vibrant alloy is made how I forget it's uh like ender pearls and yes we got that so, no alloy I always forget the name of it there we go all right, so let's grab some ender pearls. But now I can do them super, super fast. And that, they're not actually called EPs. Um, I can do it super fast because now I can do the induction smelter instead of the alloy smelter, which I'm now realizing is just like the most amazing freaking thing ever. Look how fast that is. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's save some just in case we need some later. All right. And now back to the pressure chamber. Man, if I could spell, my day would be so much better. Okay, there we go. Now we got the glass. Um, Yeah, that's everything. Cool. Now I need to grab those, um, these right here. And maybe some of these. I don't need you. Go away. All right, so we're going to go set this bad boy up. I, I'm not 100% sure how this thing works. Um, I know you've got the normal frame, so it's one, two, three. Oh, that's going to so bother me right there because it's even, oh, whatever. And so it's a hard bottom like this, and then I can go up in the corners, right? And then put a top on it. And if I put you here, right, that's the interface, then I can just put like glass in all these until I get um, like the in outs. Okay, um, is there a hammer I have to click on it or? I thought that was, that's it. Um, enable on any signal. Problems. The interface is not in the proper formed pressure chamber. 
and or the interface is not adjacent to an air block of the pressure chamber and or the interface isn't oriented right. Do I have to place you the other way? See, this is, this is how we learn. Okay, this just doesn't make sense. Um, in. That's looks like it's what it's trying to tell me is in. That's in. This is out. Aha ha. Yes. Then we can put you back here. And problem still. Really? Out. In. Did I put the glasses here, right? Yeah. It's like, it's so clear. It's hard to tell. Um, let me, let me double check on the setup here. I'm pretty sure this is right, but I, I could be 100% wrong. So I don't know. Okay. So I was doing a little searching around and I noticed that I was missing one block and I don't know if this is going to fix anything or not, but this is my hope. The pressure valve, right? I think that might be the fix I'm looking for. Uh, no, it's not. There's maybe on this side, maybe this is where the valve goes. Maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. That makes more sense. Cause it would be kind of like, you know, pointed into the chamber here as two sided. Yes. Maybe that's it. <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to figure this thing out. Aha. That was it. That was awesome. I heard a sound too. Okay, cool. So now I can take you and just kind of plop you down. Like, I don't know. Right here like that. I just like the look of it. Kind of. Oh, your pipe goes on that side. Really? Okay. Okay. So. You go like that, mm -hmm. and like that, right? And then this, yes. Oh, upgrades and stuff. I like upgrades. Let's go get some coal and see if we can start getting the pressure to kind of move around. Because I didn't look to see what like the next one was. I just wanted to get this thing working. But <clears throat> the refinery, this is actually what I want. Is the other part of what I wanted to do today. So. Hopefully we can get that in just a second, but I want to get this uh, working flawlessly. Yes, flawlessly. So we're going to grab a block of coal. I think blocks of coal can work, and if not, I can always break it down. And some iron. Let's get some iron in there. Okay. Now, is this block backwards? I feel like, I mean, it's... it's that, I feel like it's a little bit backwards right now. Okay, so you're going to start building up pressure, right? Right. And then, okay, that's just upgrades. Here we go. This is where the item can go. So if I put an iron ingot in, item filter, do I have to do it through this guy? No. How do, do I, hmm. Yeah, if I remember, that's like a switching door. That's why it's like, you know, it's open on that side. And then when you open that side, this side closes and that side opens. Okay, so maybe I need two of these. Maybe that's what it is. I need two of those. Let us, let's go make another interface. I think that's actually what it is. I think I need two. So one's in and one's out. Right now, yeah, that's what it is. I remember this now. Um, I need one more of these, which is super simple. There we go. And bingo, bingo, got you. Okay, now I remember. <clears throat> because one side, this side over here is going to be putting in, right? So then I can just break this glass. There you go, see? And then it closed. So this is the side I put stuff in, like an ingot, like so, or, or, or whatever. Yeah, no, no, not filter. What do you want? Um, filter, I don't want a filter. Interface status, interface mode, import mode, right. Problems, no problems. So yeah, so we're good. 
Redstone behavior, any signal, yeah. So now, 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 now. I think I just have to wait for pressure to build up, which I just dropped it by breaking that block, but I believe, can't I just put you in there? Do I need, <clears throat> well, while that pressure is building up, let's try this. Let me get a chest and the item conduit. Um, I kind of want to do something fun, but you know, let's get this working first. Um, chest and conduit, right? Actually, <laughs> grab the whole stack. Let me grab another chest. <clears throat> and so it has somewhere to output to. And I might actually, when did I, did I make that many by accident? Not realizing? I don't, didn't realize that. Did I use like all, no, I don't know what I did. Oh, good grief. Okay. So we're going to put a chest here and connect you like that. You're on extract. You're on insert, right? Okay. We're going to put a chest here. Not here. You're going to be on insert. You're going to be on extract. All right. Now, if I give you iron ingots, you go in. Oh, I hear doors. Oh, there we go. I just saw it float way up. And it just took it straight through. So you're not going to be on redstone always. We're going to need a signal. We're going to need a signal. Because that's not going to work like that. Um, let me grab that iron back. Put you in. Yep, so you open up. Door goes in, you go in. Why are you taking it automatically back out? Like, that's not making any sense. Why are you doing that automatically? How do I... On a high signal. Only on a high signal. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to get this figured out. It's going to happen. All right, so you go in. There we go. Good. And then once the pressure gets up, which I'm sure the pressure is still rising and stuff. Yeah, it's only up to one. Um, I'm sure there's a way to speed that up, but it'll be okay. We, we want pressure build up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here until the pressure gets built up and we see a change. And then we're, we're going to figure out a way to automate this thing. That's what we're going to do. So we'll be right back. And I literally just missed it by a second. They just popped. So <clears throat> apparently our power needs to be at two for these guys. Because they just popped. And yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to get this to run more efficiently but hey we got compressed iron i mean we already had a whole bunch but i'm i'm gonna think of a fun way to do this because i guess i could just i don't have my item dislocator on me again um <clears throat> i uh i was thinking let's so we're gonna try this real quick i'm gonna grab my item dislocator like so but I have to turn it off. I wonder if this will pull out of the machine for me. So let me grab a little iron again. Just grab like a stack of it. Okay. We're going to set you so you don't do anything. High signal, good. Now, whole stack hopefully goes in. Hopefully it's all... Yeah, it'll be a whole stack and then it'll open up and do its thing, right? Hopefully. Okay, I hear one door. There's the other one. They all go in. Right? Right? Why aren't you going in? There's not enough pressure in the pressure chamber to move this item. Apply more pressure to the pressure chamber. Uh, the required pressure is dependent on the amount of items being transported. Oh, that's interesting. So, apparently... Well... 
How do I get that door to close again so I can close this door? Like, I only did four. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. I feel like I have to break this and get it to start over again, and I don't want to do that. And your pressure is just now getting to three. Can I do it quickly? Is that is that an option to break it quickly and get it put back together? Um, let's see. Oh, where's the where's the block? What? Just get on the. I have a feeling that like killed all the pressure. <clears throat> yeah, back down to one. Okay, so. This is not going to be good because it's just going to force everything in. I just want one like block at a time. I'm going to do some playing around and figure out how to just get like one block in at a time. And then how I'm going to be able to, I think this is how I'm going to have to yank it out. <clears throat> well, red cell lamp switch. I don't know. Timer. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm going to figure out how to get stuff in here because if I can't put a whole stack when I want to... I can't just do four at a time because it's just going to keep doing four. So, yeah, I'm going to figure this out. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> I'm going to continue to do research. I was just trying a couple of different things. And I, I can't quite get anything that is doing exactly what I want it to do. But it's okay. We're going to continue on towards this refinery. And then we'll figure that out later. So, let's look up the refinery. Um, where are you at? Right there. All right, so this is easy. I got all that right now. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And I don't know, because it's all pneumatic craft, you'd figure it's like a, a, a pressure issue as well. So, refinery. Mm -hmm. Temperature, 22 degrees. How do we get the temperature up? You would think the temperature comes from... Um, like pressure? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Let me take this down real quick. So we've got this refinery. This is actually really what I want because I want to be able to make some gasoline today. Um, apply more heat by adding blocks that generate heat around this machine. <clears throat> no oil. Pump oil into the refinery. Not enough refineries. Refineries need to be stacked on top of each other, ranging from two. Okay. So, we've got the four that we're supposed to make. All right. I wonder if yellow right works on this. Um, if not, I don't know. Let's tr let's try that. Hey, let's try yellow right or yellorium. I mean, <clears throat> and let's see if that actually adds heat to these blocks. Oh, let's see. Um, not enough heat. Apply more heat by adding blocks that generate heat around this machine. So lava, maybe? Or coal? Blocks that generate heat. It's not saying blocks that have heat. Let's see if I do this. Let's... I didn't even do that, but okay. Um, no, so maybe lava, maybe I've got to go to lava. <clears throat> Let's try that out. This is such a weird refinery, but if it works, I mean, awesome, but it's so strange. Uh, buckets, I need buckets. There's a lava bucket there. Um, I think that can burn so I don't want to I don't want to do that um, let's just get some cobble or something this is this is just testing it all out and then do I have any empty buckets I've been using so many I don't have any empty buckets can I make any up I can make one really that's that's it that's all I can make yep that was it okay so let me grab another thing of lava from over here Thank you and we'll do a little lava pit around this and hopefully that works <clears throat> I mean at this point it's just all 
hopes and prayers, really. Right, so then you, you, and you. Oh, this is so going to burn my tree down. Um, lava block. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great temperature. Okay, cool. Uh, pump oil into the refinery. How did that... Y'all see that? That ain't normal. That definitely ain't normal. Um... That block just went psh, covered up. It did it again. It is taking. I oh, I just can't win. Okay, so apparently it's taking the heat out of the lava. Okay, um, hmm, that's very curious. That I did not expect at all. Okay, but that's okay. We, we've got a plan here. I'm going to go get a bucket of oil and a bucket of lava. I'm sure I've got at least one cow. Yeah, that has been oil. So let's see. O-I-L. Um, creosote light. Oh, 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 come on. Uh, light. <coughs> creosote. Oh, I see it's switching as it goes. Okay. You are creosote? Light? Why are you repeating yourselves? Light? Plant? Light? Plant? This is so confusing. Oil. This is the one I want. Okay. Glad I have one of you. Okay, so we'll put you down. That's heavy. This whole, like, grabbing freaking cows and not getting the one I'm grabbing is getting a little bit annoying. I don't get it, but it's every time. It's like the first one doesn't work and then the second one does. Whatever. All right, so we got to wait for him to cool down. I need another bucket of lava. <clears throat> I'm going to wait for the cool down to happen, and then once he is nice and cooled down, uh, we'll grab the oil and we will go test this out. Because, well, I mean, what a way to make obsidian. Um, okay, and we'll see if this works. So we'll be right back once his uh, cooldown hits zero. All right, guys. So, oh, where'd he go? I just, I, there we go. So I lifted my head for a second. He was gone. All right, so I got my bucket of oil. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I'm going to let him walk around for a second. I'm going to let him do his thing. We're going to try this. So do I just do that? Okay, so it goes in. Yes. And then I do this. So the temperature is going up, but it like stopped going up at that point. The, how does this thing work efficiently then? Because I can't keep mining up obsidian blocks. That can't even be reasonable. Hmm. What are blocks to raise the temperature at pneumatic? Uh, that's a flux compressor, liquid compressor, advanced liquid compressor. Huh. There's got to be something. Something to raise the get because that can't, that can't possibly be like, I mean, that's lava. So, I mean, it, huh. And I keep breaking all my blocks when I do this. I, all right, a little more research and we will get this bad boy going. Okay. This is going to happen. All right. We'll be right back. So <clears throat> while I was doing some research on the refinery, I hear a loud, loud explosion. <laughs> Thankfully it wasn't too horrible, but, um, well, apparently my, my furnace, my, 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 whatever that thing was called, uh, went kablooey. So apparently the pressure got too high and I didn't have a safety valve or anything like that. I mean, this literally just happened a second ago, but I figured that was, uh, a little bit shocking. 
my heart's racing a little bit because I am wearing my headphones and I was uh, watching a nice quiet video and then that explosion just went kablooey. <clears throat> well, apparently lava is the way to go. And so what I want to do real quick before we finish up for today, because this is going a little bit longer, I really am going to try to start reducing the length of the videos a little bit. Um, but basically you need to keep the temperature at like 400 or above 100 is what I was reading. So if you keep the temperature above 100, uh, it should start refining. And, and then it really depends on um, like how, what's, how you kind of build it. Like if it's only too high, it's going to make LPG and uh, diesel or something like that. I think that's what it said it did. If it is three high, you'll add in like, I don't know, something else, like another fuel, uh, kerosene. And then if it, if it's four high, we can get to gasoline. And so that's what each one of these is doing. See, and that's kind of what we're looking for. So we've got LPG there. We've got gasoline here. We've got kerosene there. The temperature is way up. <clears throat> so let's go get more oil from our cow real quick. He's going to be around here. So that's, this has got to be him. Oil? Yes. What's your cooldown? Oh, your cooldown is <clears throat> the same. Okay. And let's put you over here. So we keep going because the temperature is way up now. Oh, now it's dropping. Like steeply dropping. That's unfortunate. There's got to be a better way to keep this heated. I mean, this is what I read was lava was the best thing, but it's going to turn into obsidian. But... That's really not like really cool. If you, I mean, if you ask me, because <clears throat> you can't keep mining out obsidian. There's got to be something I'm missing, uh, a better way to heat this up than doing this. There's, it just has to be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put you right there and you right there, and let's see. Is the heat going back up? Yeah, the heat's going back up, but it sounds like both of those. Oh, they're they're going. Yeah, see that one went out. And so the heat is still kind of there. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me if there's a better way to keep this heated other than, um, well, you know, I could find something that places lava source blocks and then uh, mines obsidian and alternates that process. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm only at six. I really wanted a full bucket of uh, gasoline just to test it out in the, um, oh, what do you call it? In the smeltery. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this a couple more times because how much oil do I have left in here? Uh, it used it all. Okay. So I'm going to need two more buckets of oil and then uh, get the lava for it. And that should be enough to get enough of uh, the gasoline that I can put it in here. So actually, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, insert a light. We're gonna go ahead and take all the lava out of here. Do you have a full bucket now? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for all the oil, or for him to give me two more buckets of oil, or her, I guess, technically, I guess at that point, if I'm milking her. Um, we're going to go ahead and get that going gasoline and then I'm going to test in the smell tree and that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today because the pneumatic craft stuff, I've got some learning to do and I don't want to do it all on camera because I know it's got to be kind of annoying at a certain point, especially when you're screaming at me going, no, go do this because I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, what we're going to do is exactly that. that, that that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and wait till I get the oil. We're going to get a little more lava here. And, um, from that point, we will be ready to rock and roll. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, travelers. So we've got I think three or four buckets of oil. I got in here, something like that. I think I put, oh, two, I thought I put three, but we're going to go ahead. And I realized that the, the, the temperature goes up, like right off the bat when I do this. So I don't feel as though I need both. Buckets of lava in there at the same time. While the temperature's up, then I can now put the other one in like that. And the temperature will go back up. There we go. And 
We should get to a whole bucket here. Before it starts cool, it looks like it's going to cool down. Yeah, now it's coming down. But I got a whole bucket. Now, I wonder if I just click on the corresponding... Like, how do you get it out? Do I have to pump it out into... <clears throat> well, let's try that. A drum and a fluid conduit. Should be okay. Um, where's the other ones? There they are. I'm starting to use my... My, my high level stuff instead of the low level ones. Grab a drum and see if this works. If this works and I do pump out of the side, um, yeah, <clears throat> we're going to figure something out. We are going to make this amazing. No, no. Okay, I was just, you know, hoping right there. That, you know, just throw it on the side. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and connect you there and there. Extract. There we go. Gasoline. Now, this is where hoping comes. This is where hoping really, really comes. I'm hoping to extract gasolines in. Okay, now I was told. That gasoline makes it, well, I didn't was, wasn't told, I read. Gasoline makes it like instant. So we're going to go ahead and grab some iron, right? Because we got so much iron that I need to kind of smell. Yeah, I've got 26,000 iron dust or 23,000 iron dust. We're going to go throw this in this chest right here. And it should be able to smelt it as fast as it can. Didn't seem to be nearly as fast as it acted like it was going to be. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, I take that back. Um, no, it's fast. It's, it's definitely fast. Um, but there was something else in this, like, yeah. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. <clears throat> Are you going to start? Yeah, and it's going to start pumping out iron again. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is that is really like as soon as it gets in, it melts. So that is <clears throat> useful. That That's what that is. That is useful. Um, yeah, we're going to have to figure out a way to automate that and make that a lot more productive. As well as I really need to find a way to get items in and out of this thing usefully. Um, and not blowing it up, uh, that I got to look into too. Pneumatic craft's going to be a lot of research on my part because I don't know anything about the mod. I think I've tried to use it briefly one time, so, but it's okay because that's, that's kind of what we're here for is to slowly learn the stuff and have fun doing it. So yeah, um, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up today. Uh, I'm running out of time because I'm actually in a hurry to go somewhere. And so I'm not going to be able to knock out the, um, the chance cubes today, but yeah, it'll be okay. We'll, we'll, we'll live. We'll live. So anyways, guys, <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying. And okay. First of all, if you guys know anything about new please leave it down in the comments. Tell me something I need to know. Uh, tell me something that could help the situation out because right now I'm kind of at a loss and I literally lost my, uh, air pressure, uh, thing back there. So yeah, if you have any words of advice, please, 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 please let me know because uh, right now I've got nothing going for me and I would like to kind of get this going because we've got a lot, a lot more to do and we need to get over into this section over here. So let's go ahead and claim these up, check our loot chest, and then we'll just, that, that'll be it for today. Yes. I mean, it was productive regardless. We got our freaking pneumatic craft pressure chamber going and uh, apparently we need to start getting into plastic, so we'll make a plastic maker soon and <clears throat> um, Now I can actually get this thing. What was it at where I want to go? We can make the casings and start heading down this way and then get over to here so we can unlock Galacticraft yes! That's what we want to do. So anyways, let's do uh, some loot openings loot chest. Well, hello 
Um, a quantum entropy accelerator. You know, I was just looking. At, I remember getting one of those a while ago, and I don't remember. I never found out what it does. So, and some more agricraft stuff. So, nothing terribly exciting. But oh, hey, I, I want that back. The soul vial. Give me my soul vial back. Yeah, nothing terribly exciting, but still, you know, very productive in uh, heading in the right direction. Um, I guess it, not knowing pneumatic craft, it's so hard, and I really want to get to know the mod. And so I'm going to be spending the next day or two just kind of going over some stuff and really doing some research on it. Uh, uh, what I need to do, how do I get things set up? Um, I try very, very hard to do it without watching other videos. Not that there's anything wrong with that, uh, but I want to kind of figure out in my own way. It kind of adds a little creativity and originality to when we're setting stuff up or whatever. So if I can kind of understand the basics of everything, then it'll allow me to you know, really get that done. So, oh, my cinnamon tree. You know what? I've got like two minutes before I get yelled at for not getting ready to leave. So, <clears throat> um, let us, there's one more back in beta that I hadn't done yet. And it's French toast. Uh, and remember I hadn't done it because I couldn't do the Epic bacon yet. Cause I don't have the dyes, but French toast needs ground cinnamon, which means there we go. We've got the cinnamon now. And then toast, I'm pretty sure I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got toast. Uh, sugar, egg, and pot. I think I've got everything. I may not have sugar, or I may not have toast. Nope, I've got toast. Do I have sugar? I don't have sugar. Well, that's, that's, that's super simple. There we go. And, hey, where'd you go? Where'd the French toast go? French toast. There we are. Bingo, got it. Except for I probably need more than one. That's, that's, didn't think of that. Beta, French toast, French toast. I need 16 of those. Okay, cool. Well, I don't have the time to wait for that cinnamon to grow back. So we'll have to go ahead and knock that out next time. But I am going to leave my French toast right here in the middle of my hot bar. So I don't forget that that is what we're going to finish up and uh, take a look at some of the dyes. So maybe we can make some epic bacon too. But it looks like we are mass producing iron blocks again and we're out of gas, but you know, it's okay. No big deal. Everything will come together very, very soon and we'll get that refinery going. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc and I am out of here. Oh, by the way, like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you liked it and all that fun stuff. But until next time, we're out of here. Peace.